A Boone County town on alert right now after police confirmed the very first murder there in nearly 20 years. An 80-year-old man was shot and killed in Zionsville this afternoon. The violence caused the schools to lock themselves down because it happened in an area of Mulberry and Terrace, not far from Zionsville High School. Eyewitness News reporter David McAnally is in Zionsville right now with what we know. Dave? John, when schools dismissed this afternoon, they had a Zionsville police car parked on one side of the parking lot, and close to where the school buses were boarding, a fire truck was parked. Just blocks from the shooting scene, Zionsville High School students head for home or their parents' cars after the lockdown was lifted. Has it been a tense afternoon? Well, I was just asking my son's friend. I said, what is going on at the school? I heard they were on lockdown. When we told her and others about a man gunned down nearby. Oh, gosh. No, I hadn't heard anything more than what the alert was we got on our phone. <gasps> You're kidding me. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. The schools were very responsible about getting out the information um, to the parents and keeping us updated about what's going on. The idea of a lockdown and this situation occurring so close to school. Yes, I mean, um, you know, we live in a community that this is an unexpected event. So it's um, alarming to parents and the community in general and it's a sad case. They just kind of went over the intercom and they said it's not a drill. There was a shooting downtown and so we all they were like you have to go into lockdown and so the, our teacher just, just locked the door and let us continue our class. Parents we talked with said they were pleased with the way the school district handled the emergency and uh, also they're very concerned that something like this could happen so close to a place that they consider very, very safe. Back to you, Joan.